Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part nine of my web design and programming tutorial. Today, I'm going to finish up explaining how to use regular expressions and strings inside of PHP. Okay, what I did here was I created a string with just some random information into it. And let's say I want to find different versions of the name Jennifer inside of here. What is one way I can do that? Well, I'm going to show you how to search for all of those strings that match a regular expression inside of a string using preg match underscore all and what you do is just define your regular expression and I'm going to use the percent sign again as my delimiter and then what I'm going to say here this is like short a shorthand way of doing it what I'm saying here is that I want to find any string of characters that begins with JE and then is followed either by one or up to six of any of the letters can, contained inside of this bracket. So that's what that means right there. That's sort of a shorthand regular expression way of searching. And then I'm just gonna simply tell it the name of the string that I want it to search. And then I'm going to tell it what array I want the results stored in. And then if I wanna go through everything that was found, I search the array, match name as result, and then I'm actually going to have to call for each again and search through result found. And this will allow me to echo out the screen everything that fit the requirements of the regular expression that I put down here. And I'm just going to copy this from down here. Okay, close off both of those for each text blocks. File save, jump over here. And you can see it found Jennifer, Jenny, and Jen, and printed them out to screen for me. So that is how you would search a string instead of searching an array like we were doing in the previous tutorials. So you use preg match all. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create another string. Call it random string is equal to Dick and Jane fetched a bucket of water. Okay, now if I want to replace anything that fits the requirements of the regular expression, I use preg replace. And here I'm just going to real shortly just use an echo command so that you can see the results without having to go through everything. So otherwise you would just save this to a string. What I do is I define that which I want to replace using a regular expression. So I'm just going to replace dick, but you could use obviously more complicated ones. And I'm going to denote what I want to put in its place. And of course I have to define the string that I want to perform this action on. And if I go file save, Jump over here. You can see that it jumped in here and replaced the word Dick with Paul and Jane. Da, 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 da. So it printed all that out to screen. So that is another way you can manipulate information. I could also use the string replace method in this instance to replace any reference to Jane with the word Erica. And this is actually a method that is not going to be using regular expressions. I'm just going to say I want to replace Jane with Erica. And then just Type in the string that you want to perform this operation on, file save, and you can see now it replaced the word Jane with the word Erica. So these are all the different methods that are available to you to manipulate strings inside of PHP. Let's say I want to return part of a string. How do I do that? I use sub str, substring, and then I tell it what string to search. I say to start at the ninth index, and remember strings are 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 blah. And let's say I want to return four characters that fall after that. Forgot the O. File save. And you can see that it printed Jane out to the screen. It actually printed water here. And the reason why it did that is I didn't put anything in there. So file save it. And now you can see Jane is on its own separate line. So it jumped in nine spaces, and this is the ninth index, and then it printed out the screen one, two, three, four characters in length, as I defined right there. Let's say you want to return the position of a specific substring, easy enough, str, pos, string position, the string you want to search for. And let's say I want to find out the index of fetched, file save. And it's in the 14th indexed position is where F actually shows up in the string. All this code's at newthinktank.com, by the way, if you'd like to have access to it for free, obviously. Okay, so now I'm going to show you something a little bit more complicated. Let's say I want to divide up information. Like previously, I showed you how to divide strings of data based off of commas, for instance. So basically break everything into an array and separate everything based off of a comma. Well, here I'm going to show you how to split a string based off of a regular expression using another method called preg split. So this is a little bit more complicated way of doing things. This is 
kind of a, shows you the power of regular expressions again. So let's say we got a bunch of corporate people here, and they're all separated by whatever their title is. I'm just making these names up. These aren't real people, by the way. Okay, so you got this string here. Now let's say we want to separate everything based off of getting rid of this title and then separating all these different guys all into their own little compartments. How would we do that? Piece of cake. I'm just going to call this no title, and this is going to end up being an array. And I call preg underscore split. And then I'm going to define a regular expression that is going to match what I want to split apart. So this maybe in the past would have been a comma. This is a lot more complicated than a comma, though, so I have to create a regular expression that meets this. So we know there's a space there. Then we know there's parentheses. Remember, i got to backslash those out. And then in all instances, there are three characters. So I'm going to put this period in here. This is going to represent anything but a new line for a character. Surround that, and then I'm going to define that there's going to be three of them. And then the ending for the parentheses, and then there's going to be another space. I'm going to put in my delimiter, and I'm going to define the string that I want to perform this operation on. And everything's going to be stored in the array called no title. So i got to cycle through no title, just like this, and print the screen, close the for each block. You can see the CTO shows up here, which we do not want that. What is a nice, easy way to get rid of that? Put the question mark in here for the space. So then it'll match if there is a space, and it'll also match if there isn't. File save. Happy accident that it taught you something else. So there you can see I got exactly what I was looking for here. I split up all the names and got rid of all the titles, and everything's all nice and neat in a new array. Now, if you'd like to find the length of a string, I know I'm sort of jumping from things that are really com kind of complicated anyway, to things that aren't complicated at all. You call the strlen, or string length function. And I'm going to call that. I'll save, jump over here, and you can see that there's 53 characters in length. And if I want to compare different strings, let's say I create a string 1 and it's equal to Dr. J, and I create another string 2 and it's also equal to Dr. J, but it's lowercase j. Okay, And I'm also going to create another string 3 is equal to he went there. I'm just typing in random stuff now. Now if we compare string 1 to string 2, I'm sure you can see here exactly what is different, the lowercase j. I'm going to call strcomp. I'm going to echo the results out to the screen. And I'm also going to echo here, but I'm going to compare and ignore case. So I'm going to type str case compare and I'll save it. And you can see right here, whenever zero is returned with this method right here, that means they are equal. And you will see that a negative number is returned if string one is considered less than string two. Also zero if they're equal, otherwise you're going to get a positive number, which means that string one technically is greater than string two. These comparisons are being made on character codes, by the way. And while these are often taught methods, I find that I almost never use them. I rely more on regular expressions just because I like them more. You can also change the case on strings. So let's say uppercase, the first letter of the string. I'll say now you can see it printed with uppercase H. Say he went there. And another thing you can do, uppercase all the words. It's nice to know these things exist. So like I was saying before, there's no real reason to memorize all these guys. It's kind of like just it's a good thing to know that they are out there and to roughly have an understanding of what is out there so that you save yourself some coding. And you can see here what this is going to do is it's going to uppercase every single word. You see words. String to lower, it's going to make everything lowercase. And here it's going to make everything uppercase. And if I file save it and jump over here, you see it did exactly that. See, all the first letters are uppercase. Here everything is lowercase. And here everything is uppercase. Also, I'm not going to give examples of it, but there are also ways, different ways to trim white space off of a string. And if you wanted to trim white space off the left and the right, you would use the trim function. If you want to trim white space just off the left, you use L trim. And if you want to trim white space off the right, you use R trim. And here for our final example and pretty much everything you need to know about strings, let's create HTML text with tags. And I'll show you how to very easily strip tags from a string title. So let's say the title is my web page. And we're going to close the title off just like that. And if you'd like to strip off all the tags that surround it, pass HTML text. 
All right, like that. File save it. Jump over here. Boom. And it printed my web page out to the screen and got rid of all of the tags that surround that information. So right there is pretty much everything you can do to manipulate strings, search through strings, and so forth and so on. Up next, object-oriented programming with PHP. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Till next time.